I started in third grade understanding writing, just doodling on paper, and from there, the scene, public art on the streets. It was the first thing that I saw, so it really captured me. My name is Apex, or Apexer, and I'm a painter and a sculptor. I recently painted this mural a couple months ago, and this is a location that I've been painting for a long time in San Francisco in the Soma. And I wanted to collaborate with the old mural that was here, with the new mural, add in different styles of mine, just keep it really playful, collage based, because over time I want to keep adding on different layers to it so that the public can grow with me as the mural grows. And the reason why I like to use these different colors in these different sections, because it gives more options to play with and to play off of when I add new pieces onto it. I take in the environment, the location, what's around me. Through our work, we get to experience the, a particular neighborhood, a particular city. One particular mural that is really community-based would be on Turk and Mason here in San Francisco. There's three different artists, me, Neon, and Chez, who painted very large street-based pieces. Behind it, there's a repeated pattern, a matte black, gloss black, and then on top of that, there's a quote from a poem, and the whole poem's talking about the Tenderloin, and a lot of people in the Tenderloin really appreciate that we source the poem from a poet who lives in the Tenderloin, who understands what people go through living here, and that we put it onto the wall for the people. <laughs> I like to create a lot of public art on the streets in hopes that there's some other little kid in third grade that's looking at my murals and maybe they'll further the, the art form to the next generation. Uh, usually I feel hungry when I'm finished because I don't eat while I paint. Just I can just keep working and I get into the artwork, into the action of doing it.